is we're starting a new series. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Super excited. We're doing a series launching for the next few weeks on preparing for Pentecost. Like, what do you mean by that? Well, Pentecost is kind of just a little bit down the road, not too far, just a couple weeks. However, da 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 da. Pentecost had a few things that kind of led up to it, leading up to it. So what does that mean for us? Well, today we're going to talk about resurrection because resurrection was the first step, the first step that Jesus took and uh, breathed into his disciples, if you will, um, for Pentecost. And so when you think about resurrection, I want you to be keenly aware that in Romans 8 verse 11, it says, if the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, that spirit will give life, the Holy Spirit, will give life to your mortal body. Do you realize that the Holy Spirit raised, was, was the integral piece to raise Jesus from the dead? And I think this is such an essential ingredient for us to consider because Jesus' resurrection didn't happen without the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was the, the key catalyst. So I just want to encourage you, you might be watching saying, yeah, I could use a, a little bit of resurrection in my life. Maybe you need some resurrection in some relationship issues or some health issues or whatever, but resurrection and it starts with the Holy Spirit. And so listening and watching and thinking about this, let's, let's be conscientious, conscientious that we're available for that resurrection in our lives, available to, and whatever's dead in your life, you have to have death in order to have resurrection. So instead of bemoaning what could seems to be at an end or a conclusion or, you know, kind of in, in the grave, maybe that's just the beginning part for something God has for you, for a, a launch, for a resurrection. So I just encourage you, God's got good things. Resurrection is part of the journey towards Pentecost and resurrection can happen in a lot of different ways. Um, oftentimes in ways you don't anticipate or you haven't even been aware. You th well, that's kind of out of the blue. And that's oftentimes how God works is in kind of some of those unexpected scenarios, unexpected shocker ways. That's resurrection. And it's kind of a shock to you. So thank you so much for watching. I'd love to get your feedback, a comment, you know, thumbs up, thumbs, whatever. Sammy's always really great about it. Debbie too. Thank you so much for your comments. I really appreciate y'all giving me feedback. It helps a boatload. Um, and of course we have a joke because pfft, what would Sarah's YouTube be without a joke? Non-existent, right? Because we all wait for the jokes. Um, remember too, I'd love to have you subscribe. But here's the joke. Why do bees have sticky hair? Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. I know. You wish that I would go into stand-up comedy. I can feel it. Okay, I'm just kidding. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next week in our second part of Preparing for Pentecost. Thanks. Mm -hmm.